This is one of our latest articles. Polestar opens a new snow space showroom in the Arctic Circle. This is absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed writing this article. I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But this is really incredible that Polestar decides to create a new space in the Arctic. Polestar has been doing a lot lately and they've found some very clever way to get a lot of attention on the company by doing a lot of interesting stuff. You remember the debut of the Polestar 3? They actually built a temporary housing unit out at sea on an island and that was a big part of the Polestar 3 debut. Listen, Polestar just does things differently and I really like that. So the Swedish electric car manufacturer has opened a rare showroom in the Arctic Circle. It's very own space. So Polestar space is similar to a brand store, but not one where you can physically buy a car. They're all sold online. This is mostly to get information about the vehicle and additionally to arrange a test drive if you'd like. And just imagine test driving a Polestar, a Polestar 2 in fact, in these icy condition and snowy weather. That's absolutely clever by the company and it's an out of box thinking, pun intended of course. Now created in only three weeks, the snow space opens its door on January 10th and will remain operational until February 26th. The structure was built using 105,944 cubic feet, 300,000 cubic meters of snow sourced from Finland's Onasvara Ski Resort. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Don't think I did. Maybe someone from Sweden, maybe someone from Finland would be able to correct me. Maybe someone from Finland will be able to correct me. Anyway, at the end of the season, all of the snow will be returned back to the ski slope where it came from. Now, behind a 6.5 feet, 2 meter strong wall, Polestar 2 EVs were on display, public display in fact, accompanied by ice sculpture of wheels, suspension, components and brakes created by local artisans. And these are those very images. An actual wheel created out of ice. An actual brake caliper created out of ice. A suspension unit created out of ice. Very, very interesting stuff from Polestar and I really enjoy it. So at the facility, guests are invited to explore the Polestar offering, gain a knowledge and a greater understanding of their vehicles. Furthermore, visitors can partake in an exhilarating test drive of the Polestar 2, as mentioned before. In addition to providing the foundation of Polestar's Arctic trial runs of its electric Polestar 2, the snow space is Rovaniemi and is also intended to act as a bridge between the EV maker and the Arctic Design Week in the Finnish town. Polestar has a diverse selection of vehicles. Their limited edition hybrid electric power Polestar 1 was only produced 1,500 times. They are extremely rare and the Polestar 2 is a life back EV. And the upcoming Polestar 3 is an all-electric performance premium SUV. So my question is, what do you think of Polestar's advertisement strategy? Because this is not just a Polestar space, it's there for publicity, it's there for advertisement. I think it's a very smart thing that they're doing. I like the strategy that they're taking into advertising their business. Fundamentally, it's working. There's always news outlets talking online about the output of Polestar's activities. So to a certain extent, it is definitely working. Now we must have a look at the share. Now, surprisingly, today, the 18th of January, when I'm making this video, the share prices are going back down just a little bit, around $5.51. However, I don't think this is a huge cause for concern. You look at the entire markets, it's all going down. S&P 500, the Dow 30, NASDAQ. The only thing that's up is crude oil, but even gold is retreating. But let's take a look at the S&P 500. There it is. Today, the 18th, it's fallen off a cliff. And that's no coincidence. In fact, it was above $4,000 and it's fallen down. Interestingly enough, AMC is trending and that was one of the main meme stocks. Right now, prices are going down as well. Just around the same time as Polestar, today in fact. So it's not just Polestar, it's the entire market. Today, for some reason, seems to be that day when the market is going down in value. But then again, I'm not surprised. For the last week, the market has been going upwards. In, in fact, in the last month, my portfolio has risen by 500 pounds. And this is not financial advice, but luckily I did buy the dip. And if you don't buy the dip, you miss. So let's take a look at Tesla. And there you have it. Tesla is going down as well. So it's not just Polestar, it is the entire market. So I don't want anyone to panic just yet. 
We knew this was going to happen. If the market is going back up and gaining rapid momentum, there will be a short dip. There will be a course correction. But nevertheless, the market is still feeling bullish all overall. And despite Tesla's losses last year, the company, they're starting this year's with a market cap of $405 billion. Needless to say, some would say that this is still overvalued. I would say this is as undervalued as you can get for Tesla in this day and age, considering that they delivered 1.3 million vehicles last year alone. That's more than BMW, Mercedes, Aldi's. These are some of the biggest manufacturers, the most well-known brands of all time. And yet Tesla's come along with their electric vehicles and are beating them in deliveries in a year. That's impressive. So yes, Tesla is overvalued. But to what extent? So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And I will see you in our next video.